Hey guys, my name is Paolo Woods with Moto, and we're going to show you how to put on this 2014 Toyota Avalon front bumper cover. This was uh, painted by us here at RevMoto, painted to match, custom painted when you order it. We're going to put the link for that up at top, uh, link down below in the description, and also in the comments. So yeah, show you how to do it. All right guys, so this is the RevMoto bumper. Aftermarket. If you guys are aftermarket haters, I don't know what to say. It's cheaper than OEM, but we can also get you OEM or Kappa. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna start backwards. So whatever we took off last, we're gonna put on first. It's that simple. Okay, so I should mention that this is a foam stand with paper on it. Uh, of course, you don't put it on something that's gonna scratch the painted surface. You know, a blanket will work, whatever. So we're just going to insert this. Oh, so you should note that this piece right here is for the uh, fog light bezel. I think this is where it inserts to because it goes over the screw hole. It goes on the bumper, that one extra screw, that, if you remember, that wasn't on the fog lights. So if you have any trouble lining it up, that's where it, that hole goes and it's just gonna slot in very easily. And you kind of just push it in should hear it snap. Kind of snap for me. There it is. I hope you heard that. So this piece is on. Lower piece. Flip it. All right. I don't know if you can see me. If you can't see me, I'm sorry. If you don't want to see me. You want to see what's going on. I'm going to put this here. And now we're going to do the top grill. So we're just going to insert to this here, line it up. Ow! Missing a nail, if you've noticed in the video. I like to build Legos. I know it's very nerdy, but if you you can build Legos, you can do this. This is so that's how that's how easy it is. It just snaps right in. Uh, now I had screws. Where did I put them? All right, we're gonna come back to this one because three extra screws are going to be for... Oh, here they are. Here they are. I got it. JK. Found them. They're in my pocket. Okay. So this is why we're doing it backwards because hopefully you remember, you're not like me, you <laughs> forget everything, but you remember what you did right after you did it, right? Because that's, that's how it works, right, I think. Rusty screw went in the middle. I remember that. You can hear it's raining. I like the rain. Uh, regular screw in here. I say regular, but it looks like all the other screws that were on this bumper. Ah, uh, so this one is the uh, off screw. It looks all weird. It doesn't belong, you can tell. Um, it went on this side. All right, now we're gonna do the middle grill. We're gonna do the middle grill. So when you're working with any plastic bumper, it's obviously it's made out of plastic, ABS plastic, actually a lot of plastics. So it's very malleable. So if you're not, you don't have it on a sturdy frame or whatever, it will bend. So it's causing the grill not to slide in how it's supposed to because it was just too bent. <laughs> too bent, you see my hands, too bent. So this is perfect. We're just gonna slide it in. You wanna hear it snap? I don't know if you heard it snap or you heard that truck pass by. You don't want to force it. I'm just pressing down. I'm not like hammer fisting it. I'm not pushing it in too hard. I'm pulling the bottom down a little bit. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it. As you can see, I got the top. 
So as you can see, I got the top slotted in. For the most part, the bottom, it's kind of in, you know, if you see like right here, not in all the way. Oh, look at that problematic one. Look at that, I'll get it in. So we're gonna get that one stupid clip. We're gonna pry it. There we go, it's in, see? We just pried it. I'm gonna push down. So let's show you right here. See what I mean? It's got like this little shelf or teeth that just snaps right over and it'll hold it. Well, that's not even on that, that well. That one is, there you go, look at that one. We're gonna do that to the rest of them. I'm just gonna push up on the grill and down on the bumper, if that makes sense. It snaps, snap, snap. Ow. Be careful. Okay, so now we're gonna get those screws in there. It was just three of them. One on each end. So if you don't have all the screws or you're missing screws, it's okay. You can buy these at like Ace Hardware or something. But you only need really two of them on each end. And that'll hold it in uh, pretty well. And then you got two in the middle. So a lot of people ask us, why aren't you using an impact gun? Because it's faster. Uh, yes, it is faster. I don't know where my impact gun is. More importantly, uh, you have steel screws going into a plastic uh, part, plastic piece. If you screw it in too hard with the impact gun or you, you go to uh, use too much force, too much torque, it can crack the plastic. So that's why I recommend just doing it with your, your hands. Just twist it in there. It's easier that way. So that is the bottom top grill. What do we have to do? Fog lights. We're gonna show you the grill. The one we didn't show you how to take off, we're gonna show you how to put it on, super easy. Let's get all the stuff. So what we're gonna do is put the bezel on first. This is the bezel. It should say right side somewhere. RH, right side, see that? And of course you can just line it up because I mean, it only goes one way, so. Line it up, just place it in. So the clip should be in. Uh, what's really gonna hold this in are those, that's the screws that go into the fog lights and the one down here and the one up here. So now we're gonna flip it again. So the tabs are in. So that's easy, sits in there. Why does this one have, oh. Okay, I, I know why, okay. I'm gonna just push it in. Man, that was annoying. Okay, was it still not wanting to go in? This is not cool. Okay, man, that's just a testament on how good our paint is. It just completely covered up, filled it up, wouldn't let it in. So you just slot it in, and then now we're gonna put in the screws. Up here, it's also gonna hold in the bezel. And the top grill, top grill, I mean top fog light, what am I talking about? This one here is gonna hold the bottom of the bezel. Let's put that in. And of course this is gonna hold just the rest of the fog lights. Okay, screwdriver. Let's put that on. I am bleeding, I am okay. So you wanna make sure these are, all right. You wanna make sure they're tight. Clearly that one was not tight. Okay guys, so now that we have the grills on, both fog lights are on, uh, this trim piece here that's kinda in the middle there. Uh, now we're gonna put on these tabs on the bottom of the bumper. 
so we can put uh, attach it to the car. So these just snap right in. There we go, that's the right way. <laughs> it wouldn't make sense the other way. It would not make sense the other way. You know you need unique New York. You know you need unique New York. And then C8 pronunciate. Oh, put this one in sideways. Does it matter? No, it's a square. Whatever. Okay. So that is the bumper. So now we're going to install the bumper. And the way we're going to do that is slide it on. Don't forget to plug in the fog lights. So I'm going to do that first. As you can see, my foot is underneath the bottom, so I don't mess it up. Plug it in, plug it in. The plugs only go in in one way, so shouldn't be hard to figure out. Gonna do slide this in. So the bumper clips on under the headlights and on the sides. So you want to make sure that's not hitting anything, it's not snagging on anything. Kind of just gently put it in. You hear it snap, so what we're going to do is put these top pins in to hold it. Uh, it's usually not going to fall off. The clips are good under the headlight and under the, fend uh, under the fender. Remember the long, super long clips go in here. I'm going to take the head out, just insert that, push it in. Oh, wrong one. Okay. Okay, so the clips to go here in the middle are the top hat ones or the big ones. I think they're spacers for the hood. This is going to go on each end, and in the middle, it's going to go the small one here, or the smaller one. So now we're going to go into the sides. So you want to go on the side, and then when you snap this in, you want to make, before you snap it in, you want to make sure that the fender liner goes over. The bumper. Oh, look, somebody glued this to the old bumper. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> it's not supposed to be on there. They glued it to the bumper. Oh, great, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, so this is going to go in between here, so it's going to hold the bumper in like that. So you want to make sure. Okay, so I want to show you this, guys. Uh, the fender liner goes behind. I want to show you this, guys. The fender liner goes behind the bumper. So when I showed you that someone, so when I showed you that someone glued it on, they did break. So that clip is in. You can see it. It's kind of wedged in uh, on the bumper and then on the fender liner. But this clip was broken, so we're gonna get him another one. And this is gonna be sticking out just a little bit because they had glue on it, which is perfect. All right, so what we did is uh, we put on the radiator cover, put on all the pins or push pins, wherever they're supposed to go. Remember, if you don't have it, you want to have the outside ones first. And we put in the middle, put all the screws in on the bottom. Look at that, good as new. All right. It does have a uh, protector on it. Hey guys, I do want to thank you again for watching our great videos. If you guys need any parts for your vehicle, the ones that you guys see in our videos, or anything else, go to RevMoto.com, your prepaid auto body parts source. We sell bumpers, taillights, headlights, uh, touch-up bottles, everything that you need for your vehicle, go to RevMoto.com, your prepainted and accessories parts store. Also, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on your push notification for more great videos like this one. Thank you.